In this video I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of reading for comprehension and how when you're reading with your child at home you can ensure that they're reading the text and understanding the text and their comprehension is being developed. Soph and I read this book earlier which you can see in another video on the platform. Now Soph, when we started this book I asked you some questions about the front cover. I asked you what do you notice? Can you tell me right now just as an example what are the things that you notice? I noticed that um, the door is open and um, there was a pot on the fire and the mouse and the rabbit was laying down on the cushion and, the, and I saw some dust on the floor and the hen sweeping it up. So you could see that the hen was sweeping. Well done, sweetheart. It's also really important, and as you can see in the other video on the platform, you talk about the comprehension at the end of the story, which is just as important at the start. So I would normally ask Sophie to tell me a retell of the story, including the beginning, middle and end. So if you remember when we read this story, can you tell me what happened in the story? What happened in the beginning, the middle and the end? Go. In the beginning, um, the rabbit and mouse were sleeping and the hen did all the work. And in the middle, um, the um, hen went upstairs and the door was open and they were sleeping and the hen went upstairs to make the beds and the fox came in and stole the mouse and rabbit. Good girl. And how did the story happen in the end? What happened in the end? Um, the um, hen came back downstairs and he didn't see them so he rushed out to the woods and saw the, um, the tail sticking out of the bag and he saw the fox so he opened the bag and he helped his friends get out and put some stones in there so, so that he wouldn't think they're gone. Good girl Sophie, you did a really good retell of that story, well done. In addition to predicting at the start and telling a retell at the end of the story, it's a really good idea to constantly ask questions throughout the book. The children love it when you engage with them. So throughout the story I'll ask Sophie some questions. When we get to a page like this I would say, Sophie, what do you notice about the picture here? Um, he um, sat down under a tree and had a nap because the bag was too heavy and the tail was sticking out the bag. Good girl. I see something up in the corner. What does that tell us about the story? He didn't go far from the house because the house is right up there. Good girl, well done. So the overall goal in terms of comprehension when reading with your child is to be an active participant in it and making sure that you're asking lots of questions throughout their reading experience. This reconnects them with the book and makes sure that they're not just reading the words on the page but they're connecting it to the images and really solidifying their comprehension.